What's up guys, it's your girl Nova Carmichael and I'm here at Super H Mart and I'm gonna take you guys through and show you what's up. I'm here with a friend, Vic, and let's get started. So one of the dope things about H Mart is, is not that it's just, it's not just a market for food. I mean, they have clothes, they have electronics, they have some of the craziest things that you've ever seen in this place. So let's get going. So like, it's almost crazy how like we're in like 2020 in China, they in like 2020, 48. Look at some of this stuff in here, man. So while we're gonna get some food first and I'm gonna take you around the whole market, but before we go around the market, we gotta get something to snack on because I'm hungry. So this is one of my favorite spots right here. This is Mr. Dumpling. Every time I come here, I have to get my six, I think, I think it's 12, 12 pieces of chicken, pan fried, pot stickers, dumplings, whatever you wanna call them. And this is Mr. Dumpling. Can I have it with chicken, pan, okay. pan fried? Pan fried? Yes. Uh, no, that'd be all. One thing I love about Korean culture is some of the dope stuff they have. Everything they got just looks so fun. Like, see, look at all this stuff. All these fresh ingredients. Then you can come in here and get straight fresh produce. I mean, you can't beat some of this stuff you can't beat. I mean, they have Napa cabbage, they have kimchi, regular cabbage, red cabbage. I mean, you can get anything at this place. A, a shit ton of different type of tofus. we have here today? Toba soup. What is it? Toba soup. Toba, Toba soup. Oh, sure. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't be no camera picture. shy. No picture. No picture. We, we just getting the food, that's all. Thank you. No picture of me. No picture of you. Now, I, I'm not a tofu person, but in the light of us doing what we're doing today, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Got a little bit of that green onion in there with the tofu, with the stew. It's actually good. Damn. I wish you guys could try this. It has a, a light kick to it. Not too hot though, just enough to kind of Spike up your senses, you know. Wake you up and let you know where we at. And then look at this. Look at all these different type of fresh produce that we got. From the Chinese okra, the Thai okra, the bitter melon, the Indian bitter melon. Where else could you get this besides some place like H Mart? Can't get this in your local Walmart. <laughs> This was some of y'all walk around with. <laughs> oh, let's come over here. Bobito? Hey! Hey! How Thank are you? you? Hello! <laughs> Let them know your name. Oh, wow, uh, me too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, you got yeah. right here? Yeah. Tell us, what is it? What is it? Apples. 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 Okay. They come in YouTube? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's this one? Apple. the apple. This is a grape for the, the Yeah, this is not the grape for the pomelo. Yeah, something like that. Pomelo. What is it? What is this called? Pomelo. Really pomelo. pomelo? Uh -huh. yeah. That's really good. 
So this helps cholesterol, blood pressure. Uh huh. I keep telling y'all, time out. People have a sugar problem. Sugar problem. I keep telling y'all, natural herbs, authenticness. You need to come and visit. I really enjoyed this. Thank you. This is a fat, fat jackfruit. What? That is so heavy. Look at this thing. Let me put it back because I ain't paying for it. I love these. Had no panda. Delicious. We're going to try some sushi. We're going to try some pot stickers. What else you get? Sushi, chicken, fried chicken. Fried chicken. Korean fried chicken. Korean fried chicken. What's, instead of all purpose, they use like rice flour. So this is going to be a dip. We're going to experience some different type of culture here. Look at that. This is another one of my favorite joints right here. Oh, sorry, excuse us. I mean, like, look at the play sizes. You spend about eight bucks here, nine bucks here. I mean, you're full to the next morning. Believe me. Oh, sorry. This us right here. So my homegirl is sick, but she made it anyway. This is Erica. Hi um, guys. Chopstick one on one. Um, I can barely eat with them. I'm like faking it till I make it. You see that? But here go the technique, right? It's almost like you're writing. But what you want to do is you want to put that thumb right there in the middle and clap it. Boop, boop, boop. You know, like that. So, just like this. Hi, my name is Chopstick. Are well, we going to grab one like that? Oh. It's going to be a while. Uh, Fish sauce. <laughs> Every time, I mean, the meat is juicy. It's crispy on both ends. It's fresh. The sauce is hidden. What else could I ask for? I bought some soup dumplings. Soup dumplings. So that's supposed to like burst in your mouth. Bite it. Like, ah. Burst in your mouth? I don't know about that. I don't know if I'm like that. <laughs> Let's see. Salute. It just says soup Did it bust? <laughs> That's good. That is delicious. There's something in the middle of that. There's something. What's in the middle of that? Oh no, I can't grab it. And this is another thing, it's like how do they make this stuff? This it's like pillowy, it's like it's, putting it's, a pillow in your mouth. And, like, and then something bursting out the sides of the pillow, like hot soup on a cold day. And then it's like a small little it's like a small little piece of chicken or something right up in there. Open it up. Man. Yeah, let's I see what this see, is about. I wanna know what's in there. Like, it's surgical. See that? This is fun. <laughs> all the juices leaking out. Look at right. that. Look at that. See all that juice? How did they even get them juices up in there like that? How did how did they do that? I think what they do is they probably like freeze it and then it concentrates. Mm -hmm. And then all the it's probably like stock. 
This is the smart man here. This is, this is the guy who knows all the That's physics the and chemistry behind. Right Let's get into this sushi. What is this? This is a... Uh, I believe it's tempura shrimp. Tempura shrimp. Spicy tuna. Spicy tuna. Veal sauce and spicy mayo on top. Let's get into this. What is this? This is my this is my first. So I'm I'm like a version with sushi. I've done pretty much everything else, Korean and Chinese, except for sushi. And I think it's mainly because I, I'm not into raw fish. I'm not into the poke and stuff like that. I think it's pretty. I think I love the way it looks, but I don't like raw fish. So I'm like a version with it. I've had the California rolls, the uh, kimchi rolls, and all those other things, but. I've never had the raw sushi, so this is my first time. So y'all, bear with me, all right? <laughs> you gotta dip it in the sauce. Forget that one because that one has a tail. Yeah, I'm, I don't want no tail, y'all. I, like I don't want no tail. I'll take that one. I think I see avocado. What? No, that's not. Crab, shredded crab. Crab. Spicy tuna. Spicy tuna. Cucumber. Look like a little cute, yeah. Look like a little sh that shrimp in there, that shredded crab, tuna on the top, rice around. Before you eat it, like, you see how like cute it looks. It's like very like, I don't know, it's just like it's cute to eat. It's like cute food. All right, let's let's dip it. <laughs> What you've been missing out for like the last 24 years? Oh yeah. Where has it been? <laughs> that shit fire. Damn. <laughs> the sushi, you just have to know what to order because I can't do raw either. I would call H Mart probably the heart and soul of this whole plaza. Cause I think H Mart is like the the fancy grocery store that comes to town. And then all of those other things start to surround it. Like Whole Foods just plop down somewhere. Next thing you know, you got a massage envy and you got a fucking smoothie king and all of these other things that come along with it. So I think H Mart is the heart and soul of this whole plaza. But the other little accents make this whole thing beautiful. If I had to, out of all the ramen places that I've had so far, if I had to choose, nobody fucking with Wabi House. Where's that? Right there in um, Hind um, Lower Greenville. Lower Greenville. No, nobody fucking with Wabi House. Virginia and Victory Park, though. I haven't had that. Virginia is where you need to go. Okay. And then you can decide. Did I decide? All right. Okay. Okay, okay. Because the menu is massive. You can pretty much get any topping, any vegetable, any protein, like. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's next level. level. Okay. So Gina? Genia. Genia. It's Victory Park. Not Gina. Genia. Genia. Victory Genia. Park, American Airlines, that area. Okay. So that, all right, look, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to put a poll up. I want all of my DFW people to vote. Genia or Wabi House? On the ramen tip, y'all let me know. <laughs> but, um, so this is, again, here we are. All right, so, Korean fried chicken. This shit is supposed to be next level. It's fun. I don't even know what cartoon this is, but I'm like ready to get a Korean YouTube or like Netflix subscription. So once you open this box, <laughs> it's next level. It's supposed to be so next level that they gave us gloves. Spear fingers. So, we're a couple of my people. Like I said again, y'all, this is Erica, this is Vic. We gonna dig into this. I'm gonna try the fries, since I don't have one gloves. I'm try both at the same time. Oh shit, let me go back. Okay. It feels crispy. It's like a, like a Let's break it in. It's like a yeah. nugget. I got this weird shape. Look at that. It's juicy. 
Look at that. All right, burger. Oh, this need a little bit of honey mustard. Yeah, it needs some type of sauce. And then it's in there. I would say though, this ain't your mama fried chicken. You know, it ain't got like, it need a little bit more like, oh, man, that. but it's juicy as hell. We're going to see how this one tastes. Mm -hmm. Almost like it's like it got like a mango uh, habanero, mango habanero type of light glaze. I just want to eat this all day. <laughs> <laughs> And the funny thing about that sauce is it looked like it's really heavy. On there it looks like drenched, but it's extremely light. Thank God for this bug. Come over here, it's good Damn, son. <laughs> I'm ready to see what her uh what her spicy ramen gonna look like. That's what I'm ready to see. Up. Oh. Oh. Ah, Lee, that should look good. Yo. Oh, spicy kimchi. That's good. I like that. Hey. Boy, don't make my face. She you got to cool it down, slow down. You got to lose control. <laughs> Before we go, I want y'all to just get one more insight into that pretty ass sushi. Look at that shit. It is Gorgino. Gorgi. Go. <laughs> What is that? Oh wow. Shit crazy. Spicy black noodle and spicy seafood noodle. His shit sizzling. Good. Ask him what that is. And what's that right there, sir? Short ribs sizzling. Woo! With, with, a, with a bed of white rice. Woo! He about to get full over there. It's like fajita style. Yeah. Korean fajita. Yeah. But y'all, that's just the beginning. Follow us and we finna take y'all to something even more crazy. Stay tuned.